Okay, so here they condense the circuit, and then they're saying they're in parallel, so yeah, they can put everything together so they can get the time constant. Oops. And once they've got the time constant, uh, voltage. Yeah, okay. So the resistor. Yeah, so they just use the equation for voltage. So when the voltage is half, then we're going to get half of the, the current. So basically all they're doing is they're using the time constant is just a ratio, a rating of how fast it decays. It doesn't mean this like half has gone in this. It, it's some number like the square root of I can't remember, square root of 2 or 1 over square root of 2 or something like that. It's some, some specific value of charge, like 86% or something like that. But the key is that allows us to use this equation. And this equation gives us the um, electric potential or the voltage um, after a certain amount of time. And then, of course, it's a function of, the, of this, the time constant. So all we have to do is get the time constant, plug it into this equation, and solve for T. So then when we do that, we, we get out. And of course, what we're looking for is the original voltage by half. So does that make sense? It's, it's just basically using tau and using this equation. That's all it is. I mean, a little bit of condensation of the, <coughs> of the circuit, but no big deal. Of course, the, maybe the one tricky thing you'll notice here is that they didn't have to actually know the original voltage, right? Because then they divided out the original voltage to get like that half. All right, uh, so I'll scroll up again through that just so they can see it. So it'll show up on the video. And that one's done.